Greetings everyone. This is my latest lightsaber. Uh, this is for my personal collection. This is a Corbanth Graflex 2.5 uh, with several modifications that have been made. This lightsaber is being uh, driven by Teensy Saber version 3 by Frederick Cubinet. Uh, the battery in this lightsaber is a Samsung Lithium Ion 21700 that is protected. That's a 4800 milliamp hour battery. And the modifications that I've made to this saber is it has a one inch blade holder from Vader's Vault. And it also has the switch 22, which is the ball bearing button in the AUG switch as the AUG switch button. And that's in the old, that's in the old slide switch position. It's also been modified with the Graflex Shop red button. And this is the functioning red button that's spring fed from the Graflex Shop. It also has the Sloth Furnace TFA uh, TLJ clamp card, as you can see there. And I have also modified it with the short Graflex tabs and the KR brass electrical contacts on the brass tabs. I've also added the slotted screws here and here. And in addition, I've added a replica glass eye. Now this glass eye is not a uh, 3D printed one that's used for blade retention. This one's actually a, a real glass eye and you get shine through on it. And this is a NeoPixel lightsaber so it was kind of a challenge to get shine through on the glass eye. Especially with the 21700 battery. I've used rivets to hold in the grips and I've just used the traditional grips but these rivets are hollowed out for sound. I've also attach the KR coin on the bottom end and also added the uh, the cobalt D-ring. Another upgrade I've made on the outside, well it's kind of on the inside, is the Arkham and Darkside Engineering Graflex Razor Blade Plug. And of course there's NeoPixels in the blade plug. So now let's show you what's on the inside because I'm pretty proud of that. On the inside is Goth 3D Designs Master Chassis uh, printed in stainless steel, uh, gold steel, and raw brass and also the, the crystal holder is printed in rhodium which is awesome. It, it came out beautiful. It actually, the funny thing was, is the, the rhodium part actually came in its own little bag. So, you know, kudos to Shapeways there for taking care of that rhodium and keeping it shiny. But when these 3D metal chassis parts come, and by the way, I've added some Darth Chasm conduit there just because there was some dead space there on the bottom. But the, the way these 3D chassis come, they're, they're really liney you, you know you have to take the lines out to get them shiny and I'm not sure if you can tell or not but there's you know basically a mirror shine on there because I've had to you know grind these down and then sand them down and there's still some wear spots where my you know the the actual hilt rubs on the chassis and has scratched up my shine job but the bottom line is that uh, you know the the chassis is a lot shinier than when I got it also uh, this is running Teensy Saber V3. Now, Teensy Saber V3 is a is a tough tough install on this saber, kind of. Um, you have to modify the chassis by cutting here and here, so that this you know half circle of of, uh, of wings comes off. And then I also cut here and here just so the center wing glues right onto the micro USB port. And then once I got, you know, the Teensy Saber back in there like I wanted it, and you can see the SD card right there. Then I glued these side wings back on here and here. And, of course, I had to cut them down because they're up a little bit higher because the, the back profile of the Teensy Saber V3, which is a sandwich board, is a bit higher than the Prism and the Nana Biscotti and the 
boards by nigon but the fact of the matter is you can adapt this chassis and the only really thing you have to do is cut here and cut there and then you cut the nana biscotti rib out and it fits right in the prism slot just fine in addition you know to to that modification of the board i've also added neopixels as accent leds inside of the chassis now these neopixels are actually diffused neopixels so they're not just raw neopixels i've actually used some diffusion in the um, in the chassis and the neopixels run a color cycle in all of the graphlex fonts which are the first four fonts so the first font is the tfa graphlex by shamim and you can see the them spooling up and if you watch they come to a solid blue I'll turn some of these lights off so we can see that when I turn it off you'll see it spool down so there it spooled down so I'm gonna ignite that again because I want to show you the the chamber there's your lock up in the chamber blaster blocks and the chamber is neopixel which is parallel with the blade that's how I wire my chambers that's how I like them and I'm gonna turn that one off and you can watch it spool down now the next three fonts are all graphlex fonts this is Graphlex 4x1 one Sith. And it's a cyan, so the, the color cycle goes from white to cyan. So when it solidifies, it'll solidify in cyan. And there you go. Now, the, the cool part on this saber is I achieve shine through, NeoPixel shine through on the glass eye. Now, that's tough because you have to set your LED module back deep in well it's not an LED module anymore it's a it's a NeoPixel adapter you have to set it back deep enough that you can you know get your blade adapter in and then the blade adapter is connected to the NeoPixels and the battery in this saber is right about chia and it is a Samsung 21700 4800 milliamp hour lithium ion battery there is the Arkham Razor blade plug by Darkside Engineering And the lockup, and the lockup in the glass eye. Spool down. And then the next font is Fireblade with KSIS Jedi Smooth Swing font. Now I've used a, a red uh, color cycle here, but it goes red to blue on the on the spectrum but this is running a blue fire blade with KSIS Jedi smooth swing font this is the blue fire blade this would be cooler when I demo the saber but I wanted y'all to watch the accent spool up because that's the cool part of the saber is you know what the accents do and you can see the fire blade in the glass eye there as well as in the blade plug That'll be cooler when I demonstrate it later with the blade in it. It's kind of cramped quarters right here. Skywalker ROTJ. Of course, I had to put a, another Luke font on here. So this one cycles up from aqua to green. Hello, Ren. 
This is Kylo Ren's Fireblade to Shamim's Kylo Ren TFA. So all the accents are all Fireblade. It's almost like I put the accent ring on delayed ignition just like the Quillians would be. And there's Kylo's Fireblade going. Which, you know, with the blade in the saber, this is incredible. But there's what the accents look like and the crystal chamber to the fire blade. And then you also have the same effect in the glass eye and in the blade plug. And of course in the blade when the blade's in there. This is the weapon of a Jedi Knight. Next font is the, um, this is the rainbow blade from Frederick and I put it to Graflex 4 and Cantina music to it too. So you can see everything's just doing the rainbow there as well as the glass eye and the blade plug. It's just a fun blade. This is a, a um, red cycle blade on Caliban, the, ca the font Caliban. And then the, you know, the, the accents just kind of mirror the blade there. And the next one's a, a blue cycle blade to vibro blade. There's your lockup. And spool down. This is my strobe blade, and I've done a lot of modifications on it. It's got a white spool up. It's got the random per LED flicker with the white strobe. Freaking awesome. Get the same effect in the glass eye. I don't know if this is going to blow out the video or what, because normally NeoPixels blow out the video, but the freaking crystal chamber in this one is absolutely incredible. I hope that comes out on video, because it's stunning in person. Absolutely freaking stunning. Blaster block. Lock up. Spool down. And of course the accents in the chassis spool down as well. Then next up we have my lightning blade. And this is to case this uh, Jedi font as well. But this is a basically this blade looks like lightning in the saber. Here's your lock up. Just goes out. This is the weapon of a Jedi Knight. That's the POV blade. Now, this is my battery charger font, and I have uh, this set to Mad Cal's Calibrate.
Fairflex, TFA HD. And then we're back to font to preset one, which is Shamim's. It's a very cool saber. I'll show you a couple of blades on video here in a minute. All right, ladies and gents. Definitely cheers uh, since I have finished this beauty, which is my personal uh, Graflex 2 by Corbanth. NeoPixel, powered by Team Z. So here's the first font, Kylo Ren TFA. Lockup. Blaster blocks. And that has that thing where the, the blade cools down and then warms back up to its color. Retraction, extension. You can control how many milliseconds the extension and retraction are. Next font is Bespin, which is the same blade. Uh, this is Graflex 4 with a cyan blade. Lockup. I'm sorry, blaster blocks. Lockup. Retraction. This is, I don't know how this is going to turn out in here, but we're going to give it a shot. This is the blue fire blade. And this is case says smooth swing. Lock up. Next one. This is Luke ROTJ, so it's a green blade. You know, it's Luke's saber. Was Luke's. There you go. Which is spark tip. Lock up. Shine through glass eye. Blaster blocks. This is the Kylo Ren Fireblade. I don't know how this is going to turn out. I may end up reshooting this. Case says smooth swing. Maybe it'll show up in the reflection of my glasses. I don't know. Maybe it shows up in the reflection on that. I don't know. Rainbow Blade. It reflects everywhere else. I don't know why it blows the camera out. This is Cylon, and this is corrected in 1.247. So the last time I showed you all Cylon, it wasn't good. So I'm going to show it to you again here. just a gimmick blade. Here is a red color cycle blade. And then a blue, blue color cycle blade. This should be my strobe blade.
That's the lock up. Blaster blocks for traction. Next one's my lightning blade. That's of course on the smooth swing. I showed you lock up on it. There's lock up on the lightning blade. This is the weapon of the Jedi Knight. And then I've already showed you all everything else. That's it. Spreading the love to the land far, far away in Dublin. Cheers to you. Graflex. TFA HD.